Good morning students. Today we are going to see life processes in living organism part 1st. In this chapter we will see living organisms and life processes, living organisms and energy production, some nutrients and energy efficiency, living organisms and energy production, cell division and a life process that means cell division students here some questions are given under the heading can you recall say which are these questions question number 1 how are the foodstuffs and their nutrients content useful for the body Student, you all know that nutrition is very necessary for any living organism. The foodstuffs are digested and converted into soluble nutrients. These nutrients are carried by blood to every cell to the body and the oxygen inhaled at the time from the respiration system and in the cell energy is produced and this energy is helpful for doing all the works or all the functions of the body. Our nutrition also gives us growth and development because of the nutrient growth and development takes place in our body. Wear and tear process also takes place by our nutrients different types of functions may be possible and are possible due to uh, nutrition. Second question is that what is the importance of balanced diet for body? Student, you all know that our diet is very important and that diet must be balanced you all know that what is meant by balanced diet when all the nutrients are present in proper proportion as per the requirement of the body each person have different requirement you all know you studied in our your previous classes if you are nourish if your diet supplying you all the required substances or all the required nutrients from the from your food from your diet then you can say that that is your that is the balanced diet third question is there which different functions are performed by muscles in body see there are different types of functions which are carried by which are done by the muscles there are three types of muscles in our body one voluntary muscles which bring all the voluntary movements that means the movements which we do by our will another involuntary muscles that brings about all vital activities of the body the visceral organs are under the control of the involuntary muscles. The cardiac muscles control the movements of heart. Carbohydrates and proteins are stored in the muscles. Fourth question is that what is the importance of digestive juices in digestive system? You all know that Different glands secrete digestive juices in our digestive system. Digestive juices contain different enzymes. Enzymes act as a catalyst and bring about the chemical reaction at faster pace. The digestive juices of stomach makes pH of the digestive tract acidic while that of the intestinal juice make it alkaline. That means our food 
which is to be digested e get digested by these digestive juices next question is that which system is in action for removal of waste material produced in human body you all know that excretory system helps in the removal of the waste material produced in the human body. next what is the role of circulatory system in energy production due to circulatory system glucose from digestive system and oxygen from respiratory system is transported to every cell rbcs that means red blood cells carry the oxygen as the blood is pumped by the heart in every cell with the help of oxygen glucose molecules yield the energy by the process of oxidation next question is that how are the various processes occurring in the human body controlled in how many ways the nervous system and the endocrine system brings about control by nervous and chemical coordination in the body due to such coordination different functions of the body are carried out in the sequential and controlled manner now students we will see the first topic of this lesson that is living organisms and life processes then we will see life processes then what is meant by life processes the basic essential activities all the basic essential activities performed by an organism to withstand life are called the life processes in this nutrition respiration circulation excretion reproduction control a control system and growth all are there remember a word mrs nerg n e r g nerg then what is this m for movement r for reproduction s for sensitivity n for nutrition e for excretion r for respiration and g for growth yes organ systems are continuously performing their functions in the human body along with the various systems like digestive respiratory circulatory excretory control systems and different external and internal organs are performing their functions independently but through a complete coordination this overall system is in action in more or less same in all the organisms those are in need of the continuous source of energy for the purpose carbohydrates fats lipids are the main sources of this energy and it is harvested by the mitochondria present in each cell that means that energy is produced in the cell in the mitochondria and that's why mitochondria is also known as what is known what is the name of the mitochondria yes it is a energy house okay it is not like that only food stuff is sufficient for the energy production but oxygen is also necessary all these that is food stuffs and oxygen are transported up to the cell via circulatory system besides it is coordinated by the control system of the body that is each life process contributes in its own way in the process of energy production functioning of all these life processes also require the energy
Human and other animals consume the fruits and vegetables. Plants are autotrophs. That means they make their food they make their own food. They utilize some of the food for themselves whereas remaining is stored in various parts of the plants like fruits, leaves, stem, root, etc. We consume all these various plant materials and obtain different nutrients like carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals, etc. Which food materials do, do we consume to obtain all these nutrients? We obtain the carbohydrates from milk, fruit, jaggery, cane sugar, vegetables like potatoes, sweet potatoes, uh, cereals like wheat, maize, ragi, jawar, millet, rice, etc. We get 4 kilocalorie energy per gram of carbohydrate. Student, you may observe many players, many players are seen consuming some foodstuffs during the break of the game. Can you tell me why the player consume all the foodstuffs during breakdown? 